good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel um it's been a minute since i have talked to you guys last but i have been <laughs> getting a lot of stuff done um i kind of just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of the new space um it's not really a true before and after because i've already painted in here these walls used to be like orange um this used to be a space for at&t but now i am in it so this space is definitely a lot bigger than the last space I was in. The stuff in the middle of the floor is kind of just everything that I've moved this far. I did give me a little TV to kind of keep me occupied up here. Um, so my plan is just trying to get all this stuff, you know, like organized and put up. But I'm kind of in the middle of doing that right now. I have some shelves that I want to put up in the back so I can be a little bit more organized. This is a shelf I had in my old space. <laughs> it's not put together correctly, which I found out when I went to move it. Um, I had a friend that put it together and it looked like she put, I guess she put the racks upside down on it. So I just have to take this stuff off and flip the racks around and I'll be just okay. This is more extra stuff that I need to put up. This is actually a new checkout counter I got because the last space I had already had a checkout counter in it and it came with that space. Like it's installed in that space. So when I moved spaces, obviously I couldn't take that because it wasn't mine. Um, and it's permanently like affixed to that space. So I actually got this checkout counter or Macy's went out of business. So that's where I got this one from. Um, if you ever have like those kind of like retail stores that do go out of business, just stop by and see. You can always get stuff for cheap, like tables, like those tables kind of like toward the front, like even this one right here. I got them from Macy's too. They're twenty five bucks. Um, and on the last day of the sale, they were selling all of their tables for five dollars, like, and they were nice wood solid tables. But at the time, I had nowhere to put them, so I didn't get any. <laughs> But like um if you can tell them at the bottom <laughs> that's the orange that used to be on the walls i have like a um, roll of trim that i just have to go through and put that trim down just kind of like vacuuming and cleaning up it's not the most perfect paint job but it will do this is kind of like the back room nothing special i didn't paint back here because i mean it's a back room i really don't care what it looks like um it did make me like a little station for when i'm up here so i have a little fridge it's got some drinks in it this is an air fryer and then a microwave and then like a little basket with treats. So this is my main storage closet. This is where the majority of items that are in here are Valentine's Day and Easter. I don't have any Christmas in here because I'm getting ready to use that right now. So, so this is definitely like my favorite part because in my last space, I didn't really have an area to put all of these bins at. So now I've kind of been able to declutter my house because now I have a space to put my bins and stuff like that here. I do have some more bins that I do need to bring up and I still have plenty of space left to put them in here. I do need to replace this light up here, but I'm very excited about this. So this is the next area. This is probably where I'm going to be creating baskets at when the store is open and I have help or just putting together things like prior to the store opening, I did cover these counters um, with just simple contact paper. It's like seven or eight dollars, I think at Walmart. And this was one roll for both of these counters plus that shelf at the top. And I have this cart, I have like a little fatigue mat. Then I have one of my uh, racks already back here. Then I have two more that I'm gonna put back here as well. And these are kind of just some pre-made baskets. This is another storage area. I'm filling this with like uh, more of my plushes, my baskets, my containers. Like these are all the wagons from um, like Walgreens and stuff like that after summer sale. The ones on the bottom are, um, I think they're Squishmallows. Um, but I still have like <laughs> 20 trash bags to bring up here full of plushes. These are like those home edit basket containers. So that's what I mean these. I have some Easter baskets in the back. Then I have some Easter buckets. Those are baskets that are already done. And then because this was like an AT&T place, they have like some equipment still left. I didn't take it out. I, I don't really care it being there. I just put the little stuff that I had, like my little mop 
broom, steam mop, stuff like that back there. So that's that. Then I have, these are my extra boxes. I normally use these for display during the season. And I just have some other stuff that I need to put up. Um, this is actually what is in those boxes. And then the other one is these are home edit container. And that's the bathroom. You guys don't need to see that. But that is pretty much it. Like, I am super excited to be in this new space. Like, no, it's not perfect, but for the price and the location that it is in the mall, I really could not beat it. Um, and I just, I feel like it's gonna be a really good season. Um, I will be renting it out through now. Right now it's just closed for storage and stuff like that, but my season will start on Black Friday and I will be open all the way through Father's Day, but obviously not every day, just during those peak season events. And it'll be closed down as storages, storage in the in-between time. All right, so I'm hoping this will give me a nice brand new start to get to making some more videos. Um, I'm excited to kind of be back and creating content for you guys. I know um, we have like a lot more people in the basket creating community, so that's exciting as well. But I shall talk to y'all later. Thank you so much for watching.